Hey guys, it's Dave here. This is a really short video just to recap on what we've been learning for the Beatles Yellow Submarine. The first thing I promised myself I would tell you when I started recording this video is that if you try and play along with the Beatles version, uh, it will sound weird because the Beatles song, they kind of do this thing where the guitars are a bit out of tune. It's a thing that they did back in the day. Uh, I don't want to go into it right now, but if you play along with it, it will sound a bit weird. But that's not why I taught it to you. I taught it to you because it's a really nice, simple song uh, that you can maybe play at home with your parents. Uh, they'll know it, and I've given you the words on here as well, so you can all have kind of a sing-song. Uh, it's really straightforward. So uh, I've done a slightly simplified version as well because the original's got lots of quick chord changes. <clears throat> so do it the way that I'm teaching you and it will just be a bit more fun, I hope. Um, so there's a few bits we're gonna look at. We've got the verse, we're using the chord of D, which all of you guys should know because we've looked at it, but if you need a recap, we're doing the G string on the second fret with this first finger, we're doing the E string on the same fret, the second fret with this middle finger, and we're doing the B string on the third fret with this ring finger. That's our chord of D. Then we go to a chord of G, which again, all of you guys are gonna know. So we've got ring finger here on the top E string, third fret, middle finger here on the low E string, same fret, third fret, and the first finger here on the A string on the second fret. So that's our chord of G. Okay, we've got a chord of A minor, which is our first finger here on the B string on the first fret, middle finger here on the D string on the second fret, and the ring finger here on the G string on the second fret. Okay, and then we go back to our chord of D. Okay, so the verse just has three chords, D, G, and A minor. Okay, and we've done all that in class. Uh, obviously, if I'm going too fast, please stop the video, go back, and just check it through. But let's assume you're cool with that. Our verse goes something like this. In the town where I was born lived a man who sailed to sea and he told us of his life in the land of submarines. Now the strumming isn't too important because it's really just about singing along. If you want to strum every beat where I was born, I lived a man who sailed to sea. That's fine. Uh, if you prefer just to strum once, like I often do, and just let it go on for four counts, that's fine as well. So that's your verse. All the verses are pretty much the same, and I've given you the different words there on the side. Uh, the chorus is really straightforward. We started this first, most of you, so all we're doing is G and D. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Do the same again. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Okay, so if you need to recap on the verse or the chorus, just stop the video there, go back to the beginning and just check it through. Um, but now we're just going to look at for those of you who are really confident with that and have just blown through it really quickly, just to make it a little bit more challenging, I also wanna look at the melody that's in this song. Melody is just a word that means um, normally what, what the singer is singing, okay? Um, so the melody of Yellow Submarine in the verse is da 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 So the nice thing about this melody is it's really really simple. It, it doesn't change at all. They always just sing exactly the same thing. And if you look down at the bottom of the chart on the website, you'll see that I've written out the notes that we're going to play in tab. Okay. If you're not sure how to read tab, just remember that the lines there that are written are the strings on the guitar as if the guitar was lying down in your lap. So I've marked on the on the left side of the strings which string they are. So the one at the bottom will be the thick E string, and then the A string, the D string, 
the G string, the B string and the E string. I know that can be a bit confusing at first but that's just how tab is written and you do get used to it. So um, it doesn't tell you anything to do with the fingers that you're using, just the frets. So uh, I'm just going to make sure, I'm just going to check your chart here, see how I've written it. Um, so I've written it with the notes above. Let's look at the verse melody line. If you look at that too, uh, we've got 0, 1, 3 is what it says at the beginning on the B string. So we've got open B string, the note of B, then the first fret on the B string, which I've written above is the note of C, and then the third fret on the B string, which is the note of D. Okay, so that's the part of the verse melody that goes in the town. Okay, moving along, uh, just moving to the next section. So you read it across, just like reading pages in a book, you read it left to right. Um, we're going open B string, second fret on the G string, back to the open B string, and then the open G string. Okay, so that's the part of the melody that goes, where I was born. Okay, stop there and rewind if you want to just look at those first two sections. If you're happy to move on, the next section is B string twice, lived a man. Sorry, I should have said B string twice, second fret on the G string once, open G string once, and then the second fret on the D string once. So that is, lived a man. And the final bit of the verse melody is the B string twice, and then the G string on the second fret once. We sail to sea. So if I play all of that together, you should get, in the town where I was born lived a man who sailed to sea. Uh, I potentially should have put in a, another on the D string. You could do lived a man who sailed to sea. But don't worry too much about the details. Uh, the reason we're learning this is because it's nice to do a bit of chord work, which we're doing in the verse, and also single note work, which we're doing in the melody. So uh, the chorus melody, which is which is exactly the same thing, is just what they sing in the chorus, if you want to learn it. Starts here, it's the chart underneath. Third fret on the B string, and we're just doing we all live in, so that's four strikes of the B string on the third fret, followed by an open top E string. So that's your, we all live in a, okay? Once you've got that section, you've got second fret on the G string. The pattern here seems a bit crowded, but it's not too bad, it's one, on the A, and then four kind of quicker ones. So that sounds confusing, but if you listen, if you just use your ears to listen to the song, you get, we all live in a yellow submarine. And then it just does it again, yellow submarine. And then it does it on the open G string. Yellow submarine. Um, fast picking can be really difficult at this stage. So if you're using your sum, just really slow it right down so you so you have the time to do the picks like this. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Okay, cool. That gives you the chords and for the verse and the chorus and the melody. Obviously, you can't play both at the same time, but if you practice them all uh, and you maybe get together with some of your friends who you do guitar with, maybe one of you can play the chords uh, while the other one plays the melody. 
and that's something we can look at if you do some practice so uh i hope you enjoy that uh sorry it turned out to be quite a long video but there was lots to go over so let me know if you have any issues and otherwise i'll see you in class very soon thanks bye